Everway Woman is proud to put our spotlight on up-and-coming comedian Taquita Love. Welcome! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So what makes you an everyday woman? Uh, I'm an everyday woman because I'm fearless. I've learned in life that um, no's are really just a gateway to yes. So it's like you can't. No doesn't mean never and just not now. It means not now. It means that if you keep going, then that no will some way and somehow turn into a yes. You, I mean, you can't you can't fail if you don't, you know, if you try. You must be a fearless woman. I'm very fearless. Let's see what you have. <laughs> Hey guys. Okay. So um, I feel like some traditions just need to die. Like whoever said catching a bouquet at a wedding mean you next to get married. That's a lie. Like I've caught 13 bouquets. You see this? Nothing. I feel like it's weird though because I feel like weddings, they give you a false sense of romance. So um, especially for women. So you have to be careful what type of man you take to a wedding with you? I'm not gonna lie, I slipped up. I took a dude just because he was fine. But he was like a sandwich specialist from Quiznos. Um, but don't trip because he had a side hustle because you know women, we love those hustlers. He sold t-shirts out of his homeboy trunk uh, because his car was like in transition or something like that. That's what he said. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, at weddings you have to be careful because you will get caught up in the hype. Like, you have the flower girl throwing the flowers down, you have the ring bearer presenting the ring, then you have all the bridesmaids and they look good because they have on the same color, no matter how big they are. And then all the groomsmen, they look good because they have on suits. Like, let me tell you something about a suit. Like, a suit on a man is an instant upgrade. Like, it'll take you from coach to first class immediately. Yes, it will. <laughs> so I'm at the wedding with this dude. He has a suit on, so I automatically forget his flaws. And then now they're exchanging vows, and the bride is saying, oh, baby, I prayed for you, and God sent me my king. And the groom is saying, well, baby, when I met you, I was a boy. And because of you, I'm a man. Like. I'm getting so caught up in the hype that I'm looking at this fool thinking about having his babies. Like, I got so caught up that I started selling t-shirts with him at the reception. It's like, oh, okay, one for 15. Okay, 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 two for 20, two for 20. Um, I started introducing him as my fiance. It's like, Auntie Lara, I want you to meet my fiance, Jay. Um, oh no, no. I don't know his last name. Mm -mm, just the letter J, not J-A-Y or J-A-E. Ladies, those are the type of men that will mess our lives up. Like, their names are one letter. It'll be like J or O or Q. Darn where it is. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I feel like men will use anything as a reason to try to holler at us. Um, I recently had hip surgery. And because of it, I had to walk on a cane. But it's weird because I feel like my cane gave courage to dudes that would never have a chance with me. Um, I'm at the club with my homegirls, and the guy at the door, he has a cane too. So he automatically throws his cane in the air. Like, I'm supposed to throw my cane in the air like we match. We automatically go together. Um, I feel like the presence of the cane made me look worse off than what I really was. I was at physical therapy, and a guy in a wheelchair gave me a note, and it said, would you like to join me for dinner? Blink once for yes, <laughs> blink twice for no. It's like, sir, I am not at your level of disability right now. Oh, he don't understand me. So I blinked <laughs> once, y'all. Who gonna turn down a free meal? <laughs> He sent a car to come pick me up, one of those handicapped access vans. <laughs> like, ladies, you have not lived unless you had a ride on one of those lifts, those mm, ee, ee, ee. He took me to Morton Steakhouse. Um, 
I feel like your age determines what mechanism you use to try to holler at a girl. I kind of consider it your player card. So if you're in your 20s, your player card is it's all about your looks, how good you look. So you could take your shirt off and be like, look at them abs, baby, go on and touch them. And you good. Like, you can get the number probably. In your 40s, is about how much money you make. So it's like if you give a girl $100, oh, go get your hair and nails done, then you might get some play. You might get some action. But when you're older, it's all about your health. So it's like if you're running like a 5K for Bank of America, then you're good. Y'all, when I was on the cane, this 76-year-old man tried to holler at me. And when I told him I wasn't interested, he hit me with his player card. Well, um, you know I do cardio three times a week. Like, to reassure me that if I gave him some, that he wasn't going to die on me? <laughs> it's like, sir, I am not interested in trying to mess with somebody that looked like my grandpa. But if he had a suit on, <laughs> I might have gave him some play. Thank you, guys. I'm Taquita Love. <laughs> Thank you so much. We give love here on Every Way Woman. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to ask yourself, are you an Every Way Woman?